Hi friends, welcome to Storytime with Tristan. Today is a very special day in America. Do you know why this day is so special? Every November 11th, we honor and thank all the men and women who served in the United States Armed Forces. These men and women are called veterans, and this special day is called Veterans Day. Do you know any veterans? It may surprise you to find out that some people you see every day in your neighborhood once served in our military. Join me today as we find out more about these really special heroes. Veterans, Heroes in Our Neighborhood by Valerie Funstein and illustrated by Aaron Anderson. Today we learned about our heroes, a really special kind, the ones who serve America and leave their homes behind. We read about the veterans who give all they can give to keep our country safe and free so we can love and live. Our teacher asked us each to name a veteran we knew. She said, now you may be surprised, it won't be hard to do. So after school, I asked my dad. He had amazing news. These heroes live right in our town. So many who can choose. There are family, neighbors, friends who never boast or brag. We all should be reminded of their love for home and flag. The man in town who cuts our hair is known as Frank the Barber. But not too many know he was a sailor at Pearl Harbor. The butcher at the grocery store who cuts the meat for stew was once a paratrooper. Wow! Matt served in World War II. And Walter is a Navy man who came to fix our heat. He once fixed boilers on the ships that sailed with the U.S. fleet. Our neighbor Jacqueline is a nurse who wears a uniform. She cared for wounded soldiers when she served in Desert Storm. Ernie is a firefighter. We knew that he was brave, and yet we never knew about the Air Force time he gave. And Edna, our librarian, had a son named John. He died while training for Iraq. Now she's a Gold Star mom. Our mailman is a volunteer who trains each year to serve. When duty calls, Bob goes abroad. He's in the Army Reserve. And Manny is a proud Marine who did a corporal's part. He was wounded overseas and wears a purple heart. So here he is getting his purple heart. I see that medal? We celebrate our Veterans Day the 11th of November. We show our patriotic pride and promise to remember. Our heroes' headstones wear the flag from coast to coast in May. It's how we honor those we've lost and mark Memorial Day. So these are the headstones of some soldiers who served. This one is in Iraq, Afghanistan, Vietnam, and the Korean War. We painted posters of our heroes and marched in a parade to thank these men and women for their sacrifices made. He's saying, thank you, Grandpa. God bless America. My hero, Dad, Mom. We don't need a calendar to celebrate the brave. We pledge allegiance to the flag and let those colors wave. It doesn't matter where they served, what service branch or rank. What matters is remembering them and offering our thanks. So in the back of this book, the author has included some real pictures of some men and women that she knows who have served in the military and that are in her neighborhood. The end. I love how this book taught us about so many people who sacrificed to keep our country safe and free. I would like to take the time to thank all of those who have served in the United States Armed Forces. And I would like to send a very special thank you to my mom and dad, who both served in the United States Army, my oldest brother, who served in the Navy, and my father-in-law and brother-in-law, who both served in the Marines. I hope you enjoyed our story today and that you learned something important about Veterans Day. 
I encourage you to find someone you know who's a veteran and that you take the time to thank them for their service to our country. Special thanks to Valerie Funstein for granting permission to read aloud Veterans, Heroes in Our Neighborhood. Make sure to get your own copy of this book so you can add it to your library. Thanks for joining me on Storytime with Tristan. To find out how you can purchase today's book, take an online reading class with me, or find out how you can help support fostering, adoption, education, and dog rescue, click the description below. If you liked this video, please take a moment to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so that you can stay up to date on all my latest videos. I'll see you next time for another reading adventure.